Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going for a test drive in this 1973 Dodge Challenger. This one here has got a 318 up under the hood with power steering and power brakes. It's really clean under here, aluminum radiator. Skinny's in the front, disc brakes in the front. But what I'm gonna do is take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws. That way you know everything about it before you get here. So check us out, maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available for you and 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. So be sure to hit subscribe, pick you up some Maple Motors gear. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, before we take off, we're going to look around the interior and check this ride out. Place your bets. Do you think this horn works? We'll be playing with it here in a minute to see if it does. Looking across the dash, nice and clean. Looking around the interior, the seats look good. The back seat looks great in this one. I love the way they've done it. Package trays nice and clean as well as the headliner. Even the cover's still there. That one's a little bit scratched up ain't it <laughs> all right let's start her up starts up pretty easy things vibrate all right upgraded shifter here show you the mileage it's hard to stand behind mileage cars of this age wipers do they work I got them on, but they're not coming up, so I don't believe the wipers are working. It looks like they're stuck in the down position. Let's go ahead and try the fan. Blower motor is working. Let's see if we get some heat going up in this. It is blowing. Let's see if uh, it'll actually heat up. Looking under the dash, nice and clean. You got some speakers down on the kick panels there, both sides. And looking across the dash, looks like our gas gauge is up half a tank. Engine temperature is on its way up. Now on air is charging. Radio face is in the office. Tap. Looks like it's working. Horn, did you place your bets? Much as I want it to, not honking. Turn signals, I hear them. I don't see them popping up on the dash there on either side, but they are making the sound, so I believe they're going to be working. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. So that noise right there is the seatbelt not coming out. I cannot get it to come out, so we're not going to have a seatbelt for this test drive. It is in here, but it's going to need a little bit of work to get it working again. So we're going to go ahead and take off down the road. Anything I find, I uh, will let you know. You know that's why I do these rides, right? All right. Let's hit the road. This is the first time I've driven this vehicle. So I'm learning it with you. There we go. dash it seems to be going straight as an arrow down the road i'm not fading to the left or the right steering's pretty tight kick down is hooked up on this one brakes brakes all right they're a little bit squishy though a little bit of a hesitation there Like our engine temperature is up now and it's on the halfway mark the brakes are squishy on this one they're stopping just fine but the pedal is real mushy so on 
the gas gauge, I believe it is working. So I don't think we're gonna have to stop and get that. We're just gonna go straight over to the parking lot, do the outside shots. Uh, also get some undercarriage stuff, and light it up with a light. And then when we get back, we'll look for chips, scratches, and flaws. It seems like it's coming from the carburetor. May have a little bit of gunk in there. Need to be driven and cleaned out. So fresh gas ran through it. Well, now that we've made it over here, I'm going to go ahead and get these outside shots, and we'll continue this video. Got you on the super view again. Everything's good so far. We're getting ready to head back to the car lot. And of course, once we get there, we're gonna be walking around this ride, point out chips, scratches, and flaws. So let's head on back.
Yeah, this one here runs and drives pretty good so far. Everything's been nice and smooth, steering's tight. A little bit of a hesitation when you get into the throttle like that. And of course the brake pedal is still a little squishy on it. It's stopping just fine and it has no problem taking off. Just a little bit of a hesitation when you first get into the throttle. And of course, if I want to stop, it stops plenty fast. Go down into first here. Okay, literally right around the corner from the car a lot. I got one more stretch here. As soon as we pull out, I'm gonna take off down that way and uh, we'll hit the lot. I know I say it a lot, but go to uh, maplemotors.com and look at the detailed pictures of this car inside out and underneath and all of the current inventory is listed there. We update every Monday with new cars. I wonder if this works. It does. Moving the mirror around there. course getting into the brakes it's stopping just fine we're gonna go ahead and get turned around here I guess we'll be pulling through Brian's Motorsports again you want to check them out they fully customize new cars old cars anything you can think of they do lift kits interior stereo systems wheels tires parts and accessories you name it look it up Brian's Motorsports.com right next door to Maple Motors uh, have a lot of people now they, they buy the car from us they bring it down here get it customized and then send it to their house so that it's all done and ready to ride. They also fix a lot of little stuff, like the horn. <laughs> Just waiting on some traffic to get by. Once it does, we'll be back to the lot picking out the flaws. I'll see you here in just a moment, guys. Back at the lot, and it's time to pick out the flaws. We're going to go down the lower portion all the way around the car and look for chips, scratches, rust, anything I can find. Let's go ahead and get started. So coming down this side of the car here, you can see it's got a little bit of overspray right here on the corner piece. Down this lower section here, up and over the fender. Looks like you got a billet specialty wheels on the car. They look pretty good. A little spot in the stripe there where they connected it. <clears throat> you see where they just stuck these 340 stickers on it? Kind of went up on that edge there. It's not exactly right, is it? You've got something hanging out of the door there. It's part of that stripe kit, it looks like. Paint runs running down the edge. A chip there. Running down the lower portion, you got some chip marks there that have been touched up. Also some here in the corner. Up and over, the chip there. Paint runs in the back here. Got a few chips on the back. A little bit of overspray on the back piece and some, a chip back here underneath it. Coming back this midsection, a little bit of your trim's got some dents in it. So far, so good.
Looking at the front here, you got some chips right there, a little spot here, and a chip in the corner over the top of the fender. Mirror on this one is in great shape. All the trim around the window looks pretty good. Around the side one is the front window. Your pillar here has got a little spot in the paint. You got some spots up here on the top corner as well. A little bit of pitting going on at the bottom of this mirror. Could be cleaned up pretty easily. There's a crack back here in the paint job. Also a bubble right here. Your back window looks decent. Your trim looks good. Front windshield on this one's not too bad either. Pretty good. Coming around the front end, the bumper is pitted. It's got some rust popping out on it. Lots of pitting. You can see the age on that one. Little crack right here. Little chip there. Down on the bottom here, you've got some chips. A spot there on the headlight. Also some blemishes in front of it. You got some scratches right here on the nose. Overspray there coming on back. Up and over the fender. Let's see where they ran it up. Same way on this side, you got some rust in your door. paint runs down here chip mark there paint runs in the back as well there's a chip back here looking down the side of the car you got pitting on your gas cap too like a little bit of pitting on your door handle oh, a lot of pitting on your door handle that's supposed to be up on there a little bit better chip right here a couple chips right here Looking over the front windshield, it looks pretty good. Not too bad at all, the trim's not bad. You got a crack right here on your pillar. Trim around the passenger window doesn't look bad. Up on your roof here. Back window, the seal's a little high there in the back. But I don't notice any water back here, so maybe they just did it a little bit extra to keep the water out. Coming around on the back. Looks like the tail lights are on, so I need to pull up on the brake pedal. Because I've turned off. Oh, that makes sense. Had the running lights on, I believe. Yep. Running lights were on. Hopefully the battery's not dead. Should be alright. Good strong battery in this one. You got some pitting on your back bumper. All the way across. Your tail lights have been painted. I love the way they did that. You got a little spot right here. 
you got a lot of little dimples there on top in your jam but the jam actually looks pretty good a couple little bubbles up in there weather stripping is in good shape around the jam the trunk itself is in decent shape Okay, looking around the trunk lid itself now. Little spot there. All right, let's go ahead and shut this lid down. And uh, we've walked around the car. Now we just gotta listen to the motor let me check over the trunk lid real quick i see some dents in that trim there get a little spot here too in that corner okay let's go ahead and check this interior out i've already got the door open door panel on this one's in pretty good shape it's got a few flaws right there where the uh, window crank's going around. You've got some chips on top here. Rather stripping looks pretty good. Coming down the edge of the door here, up under it. Solid. And your jams look pretty good too. They're not bad at all. I done messed up the floor mat on the test drive, didn't I? So the carpet's in good shape. Got some chipping on some of your interior pieces. seat and this one's in great shape too not too bad in here Let's go ahead and jump out and listen to that motor. Nice and tight. Coming down with the hood here. Comes down easy, I'm just barely pushing it. There's a spot right here on the hood. Other than that, guys, I'm 
pretty certain we made it all the way around the car and found all the flaws. Look at the detail pictures at maplemotors.com. We do have about 100 detailed pictures of this one in every car on the lot. We also have financing and shipping available for you, so I want you to go there and check that out. Of course, here on YouTube, it's a great outlet to show you all these flaws, to show you how the car runs and drives, but our main website is maplemotors.com. You can also join us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I encourage it because I post to it every day. With that being said, I got another, I don't know, five or six cars I'm gonna try to get done in the next two days, so I better go ahead and do it. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again, guys.